This video is sponsored by World of Warships, the free to play naval warfare game. It is day eight of our cross country road trip bourbon hunting. Bourbon pretty big here? Or? Not really. Oh, Buffalo Trace here, and I've seen anywhere ever. How many of those do you have? I got a lot. All right, Jill. Um, oh, Lord, we're over budget. It is day eight of our cross country road trip bourbon hunting, and I believe this is the eighth bourbon hunt we're going to do because today I'm in Gillette. Wyoming. And this may be the only bourbon hunting we do here in Wyoming. It may not be. I don't know what happens after this. So far, the trip has been very structured and it kind of devolves into chaos until Monday. We're just going to randomly go to liquor stores here in Wyoming. I went online. I tried to do a little recon, a little research. Honestly, most of their Google local listings are not fleshed out real well, so it was hard to make a plan. We're going to see how it goes. The closest one to the hotel here is TLC Liquors. I don't even know if they're open. Let's go check them out. How's it going? Good, you? Oh, not too bad. This is our first video, first time in the state. It's oh, bourbon, really? bourbon pretty big here? Or? Not really. What's the most popular spirit here? What do you sell the most of? Beer. Just beer? <laughs> Drinking beers, beers, beers. Nothing wrong with that. I, I love a good beer myself. So you don't think we're gonna find a lot in the state here? Uh, no. <laughs> some old granddad bonded right there. Brothers Bonds get some distribution, boy. Oh, the black cherry. Do you like that? Have you tried that one? No, it's not black cherry. Well, it's, it's current. It's black currant, which is a black cherry. It's an interesting mixer. I haven't found anything to do with it yet. Like we've been putting, I bought a bottle. I've been putting it in all sorts of stuff. I can't find anything that I just love. <laughs> Usually I'm just drinking my whiskey neat, right? Just pour it in a glass yeah. uh, and drink it neat. And that's, that's not what I'm trying to drink neat. So do y'all ever get any like allocated hard to find bourbons or? Yeah, every now and then. Pretty rare? Well. Wyoming, we're the pretty much last on the list. <laughs> yeah, not a lot of people here, huh? Um, for <laughs> allocated type stuff. I got you. When you do get it, you just put it out on the shelf. It usually yep. gets gone pretty quick. Yep. Are there any big liquor stores around here? Anything you think might have? It doesn't have to be allocated, but something kind of harder to find. Maybe Good Times. Good Times is the one I need to check out? Yeah. Okay. The waves, yeah, bourbons are pretty much... Yeah, this selection here. Great. I mean, you got yeah. some good ones here, though. I mean, it's it's not a huge selection, but definitely some good drinks there. No luck on our first stop. I'm afraid that a lot of these liquor stores are going to be like that, right? They're just selling the basics, not a huge bourbon selection, not doing barrel picks, so they're not getting a ton of allocated stuff. You never can tell, though. Sometimes you walk into those little stores like that and they got a couple of bottles sitting there that nobody cares about or knows what they are that are pretty hard to get so we'll keep checking them out we'll see what we find here in Wyoming lately I've been looking for some new hobbies now I don't get a ton of downtime but when I do I want to be able to just shut my brain off and enjoy what's right in front of me now I'm not much of a gamer but I recently found this awesome game called World of Warships and I want to tell you about it World of Warships is a free-to-play naval warfare game with amazing graphics it has over 40 unique maps with changes changing weather that makes every battle I play a little bit different. They release new content every month from new ships, nations, cosmetics, to even new ship classes so the game always feels fresh and unique. Plus, they do collaborations with things like Transformers, Popeye, Godzilla vs. King Kong. Best of all, World of Warships has a pretty active community, which means that if we want, we can all make a B-team clan to go up against the competition. They have a Discord server where you can talk all about the game, which has been helpful since I'm still just a little bit new to the gaming world. Now, World of Warships is available on your PC, Xbox, PlayStation, and even your phone. So I could take my Navy on the road with me when I'm bourbon hunting and get some downtime in a hotel, or I'm standing in line waiting for a good bottle of whiskey. Click the link in the description to download World of Warships to receive a huge starter pack. Now let's get back to that video. It could not be a more beautiful day for bourbon hunting. It is 75 degrees, not a cloud in the freaking sky. Like, ugh, these trips make me want to move places. I know I don't want the winter here, but right now in the middle of the summer, it is absolutely gorgeous. Well, we got the recommendation of good times. Let's go check it out. Hey, how's it going? Oh, not too bad. Oh, I don't know what's up with this Pine Bluffs distilling bottled in bond here. Pine Bluffs, Wyoming, bottled in bond. Local grains, aged at least four years. I'm going to bet in a small barrel, though. It's a nice bottle. Buffalo 
trace down there. Little tiny balls in there. Plenty of the white dog. Y'all tell me about these. Arcola, the Wyoming Spirit. Definitely a bigger selection than the last place. So this bottle and bond, I, it's gonna get me. Like they're not all great. They're not, I've got a lot of them that are not good. I don't know how it got that color in Wyoming in four years. It does have a black label on the back that may be making it look a little darker. Great branding though. I think we're gonna take this one. See if we can find anything else interesting here. Nancy Fraley, Steve Nally, 10 year anniversary edition. Somebody probably really wants that bottle. Distilled, barreled, and bottled by Wyoming Whiskey. Five years old. All the Buffalo Trace one could want here. Yeah. Make sure these aren't store picks. They just look like regular old bottles of Buffalo Trace. What do you know about these whiskeys right here? What I know about this is when it first came out, it was the worst. I've ever tasted. Well, why don't you tell us how you really feel? <laughs> That's been well over eight years ago. Okay. Now it smells like crazy. But I'm, is it good? Everybody says it is. Okay. I have not had it since. Gotcha. Pine Bluffs, I'm not sure it sells, but I don't know what it tastes like, anything like that. First time in Wyoming, I figured, figured I'd buy a couple of local things, but sure, I don't know if they're going to bite me. Did you see that the back end cap there? That has is there the something wine? better? Well, I don't know if it's better. I mean, this is like all over our Wyoming. Okay, right? so I grabbed, I mean, this guy, obviously, but I got yep. the bottle in bond because that's going to be at least four years old. Yep. And I, that's where I got that Wyoming from right there. Yeah, I, I'm really just looking like, for... The Ladoos are really good. Finished in wine barrels, finished in cinnamon clove. Yeah, I don't I don't think I want the finished stuff. Okay. How do y'all typically handle allocated stuff? I mean, you got a good selection. I assume you get a little bit of allocation. We do, and it's there's a list. Where are you from? Alabama. Alabama. Yeah, we're... This is day eight, so this is the eighth state I've bourbon hunted in. Oh, really? I'm in a different state every day so far. So it's been fun. That's it's been cool. interesting to see the differences from state to state. Sure. Are there any other stores around here that maybe do barrel picks or have a large bourbon selection? No, we're probably the biggest second. Okay. Yep. Yep. I mean, you got Albertsons across the street, but they're, you know, it's a grocery store. Yeah. I think I'll take those two bottles up there to give those a try. Thank you. Okay. Yep. I right, appreciate yep. it. Oh, so that's the best selection, and we found a couple of local bottles worth trying. $76 is a lot for craft whiskey, but it's a fancy bottle, you know, fancier the bottle, you know what we say about that. We're going to head over to Albertson. She did say they had liquor across the street. Don't know. I mean, it's a chain, so they get access to allocation, but I don't know if they put it out or keep it for the, uh, for the employees. So let's head over there. Let's see what that's about. What I like about Wyoming is there's like almost no traffic. It is so easy to get around because there's like no freaking people. I need to watch before somebody runs me over though and proves me wrong on that here we are at albertson's good price on buffalo trace there for 22 dollars eagle rare but it's not there ah uh, man i've got a youtube channel where we just go across the country doing bourbon hunts and i just happened to be here today and i was like this is the eighth day of the road trip and we just decided we would stop into random stores and see what the bourbon selection looks like oh yeah wish it was easier to get some of the stuff. I see. Do you get Eagle Rare a lot? I see it listed here, but it's obviously not there. About once every five to six weeks, one kid okay. could sell the hell out of them. Oh, of course. If we could get them. Anything interesting come in lately? These. The horse soldiers? Uh -huh. Yeah, I've been seeing those a lot, pretty much everywhere. Do you, have you tried one? I have not. What, so what are you drinking? Do you, do you like bourbon? Um. I just stick to beer these days. Got nothing wrong with that. Is way happier when I just drink <laughs> beer. But it looks like every five to six weeks, you could actually get a Blanton's here or a uh, Eagle Rare, but you're going to have to know what time. But this is one of those stores where if you know the day roughly that the truck comes, you could probably swing by and grab one because it looks like they're just going to put them out on the shelf. Just so happens that's not today. We're going to be gone here in just a little while. So let's find another store. I'm going to see if I can find a smaller store, maybe get lucky with somebody that gets just a little bit of allocation. Let's see what else is around here. Another thing I've noticed here is that nobody's in a hurry. Like if somebody's crossing the road, they're at a snail's pace. They're taking all day. It doesn't matter what's going on. You think that car is going to cut you off and jump out? No, 
they're patient. They're just gonna sit around, they're gonna hang out. Like, you go ahead and go, it's cool. I got nowhere to be, nothing better to be doing than sitting here in traffic. I like that. That's the, kind of that small town vibe that I'm looking for. We are now at Creative Liquors, which is a pub and liquor store. We don't see a lot of pubs and liquor stores. Most of the time, I would assume the good stuff goes to the pub, but let's find out. $469 for Kentucky Owl, batch 11. More Buffalo Trace here than I've seen anywhere ever. Mile High Spirits. Denver, Colorado. I like the digital price tags though, that's kind of cool. Brown Sugar Bourbon. $27 on the Buffalo Trace. $10 grab bag. So I guess you get just $10, you don't know what you're getting. I don't know if what I'm looking for, that's the problem. Are there any, any hidden gems in here? Anything that I should be trying? Right now, no bourbon season. Doesn't really hit till. Fall comes around. What are you drinking there? Bourbon. What are you yeah, into? I'm just drinking well bourbon. Well bourbon? What, what's the well bourbon here? Uh, four roses. Okay, nothing wrong with the four roses. That's good stuff. So what's the best bourbon you've got back there? The best bourbon right now? We got Makers, we got Bullet. My go-to is Woodford. Woodford? Yeah, have you, you like the double oaked? I've never tried the double oaked. You never tried the double oaked? That's, I, that's probably my favorite, like, regularly available Woodford is the Double Oak. Really? It's really good stuff. Yeah, it's a different experience than normal Woodford, though, for sure. I got a bottle of bourbon I bought from you guys when I won that raffle. Oh, yeah, he won the raffle on the Elmer T. Lee. You got an Elmer T. Have you opened it? No. It's a fine bottle of bourbon, but it is not as good as what it goes for on the secondary market, for yeah. sure. Yeah, it's not even. I'd, I'd probably just soon have Buffalo Trace. Are you serious? Yeah. You run a, just a bourbon podcast. Well, yeah, it's not per se, it's not a podcast, um, but uh, just kind of started it a year ago as a hobby, and it's doing really well. So when really? I travel, like I don't I don't usually travel for bourbon, but I travel a lot for work. My wife loves trips, so we travel a lot personally, and we try to coordinate enough time to spend a couple hours in each town just hunting for bourbon. Is it is it that kind of day? Oh, it's just, it, I'm, I'm not having a very good day, but yeah. What can I do to him? <laughs> oh, nothing. If we buy a bottle of bourbon here, can we, can you open it? Um, yeah, I can open it. What do you want? Let's go try some. Let's oh. pick some. Come on. Let's pick a bottle. Let's pick a bottle. Let's do it. There's $10 grab bags. What are you, you into that? Oh, Trying to find what I would think is the best bottle here. Now, some of these like local things I don't know. Uh, I love a good Michter's. These are really good bottles. Really? Old Forrester, now this is really high proof stuff. This is probably one of my favorite regular releases from Old Forrester. The Statesman's also really solid. It's a little lower proof. I don't know if you're into that proof very much, but pick a bottle. I used to like that. I used to say, I'm not a big port wine finish fan, Until but I yeah. started drinking this. Okay, yeah, that's that would be a step up. So just, what bottle do we want to try? Pick one. Well, let's try this. Grab it. Let's go up there. Let's pay for that and let's try it. We're going to try that wood for double oak. If you can open it, I'll pay for it. You open and pour it and then he'll take it home with I'll him. I'll pay for the cap. So how do y'all typically handle allocated stuff? You just have a raffle, it sounds like? Um, So I usually do a raffle right around Christmas time. Okay. People incident to get in here and kind yeah. of check things out. My waiting list is usually like 18 people. What's the one with the letters? The That's Blanche. Yeah, but we do get in some E.H. Taylor's, Happy Van Winkle. Mm, that would be nice to have. Rock Hill Farms. Yeah. I love Rock Hill. Rock Hill Farms is what Elmer T. Lee wishes it was. I said it. I, they, I said it. Rock Hill Farms is hands down. It's 100 proof, which automatically uh -huh. makes it better than Elmer at 90. <laughs> now it's just ours to open and do as we, yeah, as we please. What's That's the okay. proof do for you? Now, if you're not used to the proof, it'll probably just overwhelm you with the alcohol. The flavors are just more intense. It's a different experience. You're worse than I am at opening right. stuff, man. I suck at it. But I feel like I feel like a professional now. This is probably the nicest little bar in Gillette. I like the vibe in here. This is cool. I, we don't go to an awful lot of liquor stores slash bars. I, I don't even know if that's legal in Alabama. You want to breathe? Nah, who needs that? That's for professionals, man. Let's just drink some whiskey. All right, I don't need that much. I've got to drive. No, you drink that one. Just pour me a little bit, okay? What do you think? Uh oh, serious face. Smell vanilla. Oh, it is vanilla and oak. It is a vanilla oak bomb. Mmm, there's the oak. Yeah. That's really good. Is that better than normal Woodford? Oh, yeah. 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 Spreading the gospel over here, Woodford Double Oak. This is one of the best bottles you can get to me. You get just about anywhere. Find a new favorite, huh? I, I have. Good. You think they'd let us open one of those $10 grab bags to see what was in it? I mean, I'm almost willing to pay $10 to see what's in it, but I really would just rather see. Can we open one of those grab, grab bags? I don't know what all's in it. I don't know either. Don't know that's, either. What's, that's the fun. Not it's like Christmas. 
But I don't, I don't want, I'm not going to take it with me because if you're selling it for $10, I probably don't want it. But I'm insanely curious. It's mostly wines. Okay. Usually, it's usually wine. But I don't know what else, I don't know what else she's got there. I mean, I guess I don't care if you take the key. Looks like there might be one here already open. Somebody opened. So we'll take the one that somebody's already peeked into right here. And they obviously didn't like it because they didn't buy it. That's a Sutter Home Chardonnay for $10. I don't think that's a bad deal, right? Do you sell a lot of these? Well, I, mean, I guess that's cool though, because you, you can get the ten dollar grab bag and then drink it here, dude. I like this place. I wish I didn't live three thousand miles away. <laughs> well, it was always nice to come in after night shift, someplace quiet. What do you do? I the mine I'm at now. I drive just drive the truck. What kind of? I don't know. Like I don't know anything about this place. First time here. Was it the coal mine? Coal mine. I didn't know there were a lot of coal mines around. Here. I'm well, learning a lot of things. I didn't know South Dakota sold so many sunflowers. Gillette is a coal and oil and gas town. Okay. Yeah, I saw a lot of the gas refineries. The way you're going, you won't see any coal mines. Should I be looking out of coal? Like, I want to see a coal mine. Is this a thing I should do? Because I, I, like, I just say yes to stuff and weird things happen. Just a big hole in the ground. <laughs> big hole in the ground. I've seen a few of those. Well, I'm sure glad you stopped in this morning. Dude, I've been, take this bottle home with you. i got oh, plenty no, of this. Sir. No, 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 that's your bottle. No, sir. Yeah, take it. One I or two local. It. Yeah, my name's TJ. TJ, my name's Sean. Nice to meet you, Sean. That was a cool place. That's my kind of vibe right there, just kind of laid back. Now, it might get a little wilder in the evenings. I don't know if I could take that, but overall, just a cool place to hang out. That was probably more fun than bourbon hunting here anyway, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Sean was a cool dude, and I hope he enjoys that wood for double oak. All in all, had a good time here in Wyoming. We'll see what the, I don't know where the next bourbon hunt's gonna be, but we'll find out. I am here in Idaho Falls, Idaho, and we are on a trek south down to Provo, Utah. I don't have high expectations for this particular bourbon hunt. We're gonna hit a little bit of Idaho. We're gonna hit a little bit of Utah, but it looks like literally everything is state run. I've found zero non-state run stores here in the, the Idaho area we've been traveling through. And I don't know how good these state run stores are gonna be, but we're gonna go in, we're gonna check them out. We're gonna see what we find. Um, I do have a mission where we're looking for some whiskey from Colorado. We're gonna look for those, see if we can find three or four different Colorado whiskeys. And if not, we'll just get what we find. You into bourbon at all? No. Ah, uh, that's a good question. So all these are closeouts on this rack? Closeouts, these are just special orders, it's kind of regional stuff, and then allocated. It's been holiday. 118 and 121 proof. Probably the Sazerac from Canada. Colorado whiskey. You haven't had it? So how do they typically handle allocated stuff in Idaho? Because some states do lottery, some like every, it's a little different they everywhere do, I go. They'll do lottery too, but lottery is now Idaho only. You have to have an Idaho driver's license. Yeah. If you don't, then you have to have uh, proof of residence. Uh, is there one store around here that just has a huge selection or is a bigger, like in Alabama, kind of similar situation, but there's like, uh, there's bigger stores that usually have a, a all bigger this, selection. All, the Woodruff store used to be known, to be known as the bourbon store, but I don't know if they are now anymore. All right, so she didn't seem like she wanted to talk to us when we first came in, um, but she was being direct. She was much nicer there at the end when we went to check out. So I wasn't extremely chatty in that store. We were, a lot of these state stores don't want us to record, so we're just kind of, you know, laying low and not, not making a bunch of noise, not trying to disrupt the business. But we did find one Colorado whiskey. We brought a Breckenridge bourbon. I need to find a couple more at least. And I wouldn't mind finding a Ben Holiday soft red wheat. I got something fun we're gonna try to do with that one. I saw some Holiday Bottle and Bond in there, but not the soft red wheat. So we'll see if we can score one of those, but it sounds like we shouldn't have to go by Costco. That was one of the plans here to see if I couldn't spice it up a little bit. 
Let's see what the next door is we find. So she said the store on Woodruff probably has the best chance of having a good bourbon selection. So here we are. We're gonna try this one and then we're gonna head on over to Utah and see what we find over there. I know the juices are good. These are good. Yeah. Bardstown, Kentucky by Coors. That's strange. There's a six-year-old rye on the closeout shelf. So you're collecting a lot? Most For the most part, you're just yeah, trying to get a full set of stuff? Well, I got the sets that are in a display cabinet, and that's not drinkable. I, I rarely even look at them anymore. <laughs> Started out as kind of fun, and now it's almost an obsession. But I, <laughs> I've got the Blanton's line. Okay, yeah. And I got the Yellowstone... Okay. Um, landmark edition. I saw some of those at, we were at Yellowstones. I definitely saw some of those landmark edition ones there. I got that set, so that's a landmark. So there's six of those different pictures on the label, but and then I'm working on the Calumet. 15 and 16 are pretty good whiskey. I'm not a big fan of the younger stuff, but the 15 and 16 are really good. And it'll, I've got a 16 and a 14. I think I've got 17 and one of the 20s, like the weeded batch was the one that I really liked. Yeah, and the 17. Uh, I didn't want to fan of 17. They're probably out there. There's a lot of that stuff sitting on the shelf, but you got to put some effort into finding them for sure. This is pretty much it, right? It's just all state run stores. Yes. You'll catch a bottle here and a bottle there. Like I said, I filled up the Blanton's, which I didn't know I would, you know, when I started that, I thought that was unattainable. And then I hit about a three week period that I got five in three weeks. Oh, wow. Boom, 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 boom. So you just walk in and they just happen to have them on the shelf? Is that how it works around here? Yeah, the allocated stuff is on the end of this room. Anything over there interesting right now? Not unless you're a Baden Hazel. Basil Hazel, yeah. yeah. I really like to get some Russell's 13 and- Oh, those are delicious, yeah. I'd like to get some, like the Blue Label Forester. Oh, uh, the Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Strength. I think I passed on some of those in South Dakota. I've, I've just got several of them at the house. So they're, they were, they had four rows. One of the stores I stopped at had four rows of Single Barrel Barrel Strength store pick. They had the single barrel Old Forester store pick. And then I think they had, um, there was one more pretty desirable one. And I'm just like, I'm on a road trip. I don't have a lot of space. Somebody will somebody will give me a hard time about it. One of the very first days that I was looking, I walked in here in this store and they had a Taylor, an E.H. Taylor. E. H. Taylor. I looked at it and went, well, I can't be done anything special. <laughs> Kids out to Cody goes, you should, Turn around and go back and buy that. And yeah. Back here it was already gone, but that's the only bottle of Taylor I've ever seen. Uh, so what are you into? Like, what's your what's your favorite? Um, like to drink. I don't drink. You don't drink, so you're just collecting. Here's an interesting thing I would be collecting right now. Pinhook. You ever, ever heard of Pinhook? Mm -hmm. Out of Kentucky, they're doing a series right now. We just did some things with them, and I, I didn't know about this series until I went and hung out with them. They went and bought a bunch of barrels of whiskey. Now, they don't make whiskey. They just, you know, they, they age it, they release it, they do interesting things with it. So they bought a bunch of whiskey from MGP. You familiar with MGP, Midwest Grain Product? One of the biggest contract distillers on the planet. They started releasing it at four years old and they're about to release the eight-year-old. So they bought all the same barrels, a, a lot of barrels, aged them. They released them at four, at five, at six, at seven, at eight, and they're gonna release that same whiskey all the way up to 12, and then it's all gone. So that would be an interesting thing to have all of the years, and I still see them. I haven't started buying them yet, but I'm going to. Have you seen the Canadian Caribou? Yeah, Caribou Crossing, that's made by Buffalo Trace. It's in the same bottle as Rock Hill Farms, which is very similar to like a Blanton's, but at 100 proof. But they have that kind of Blanton style topper with the Caribou on it. Ooh, there's some Elijah Craig stuff over here too. What have we got? I don't think I've ever seen a red label private barrel. This is like a non, Barrel proof yeah, they private do. label. That Elijah Craig toasted down there on the bottom. Yeah. A lot of folks were looking for that last year and now it's all over the place. I see it a yeah, lot. They're... You say they keep their allocated stuff over here. They'll just set it over here and you just walk in and it'll be sitting here. It's been holiday stuff's good, but only if you're drinking. It's not necessarily collectible at this point. I think I'm gonna get back on the road, man. I appreciate the conversation. A lot of Elijah Craig, that's really the interesting thing they have around here is a ton of Elijah Craig, single barrel stuff, you know, the toasted barrels, but this definitely had a little bit bigger selection than the other store, but still, I don't know. Pick it in Idaho is uh, tough sledding. He says the allocated stuff drops regularly and, and is is available um, within the hour usually, you know, so they, they drop some bottles and you usually have an hour or so to get over here if they get a full case. Well, there's some opportunity to get some allocated stuff, but not a real big selection of stuff that's not allocated. So we're going to head down to Utah. Doesn't sound like it's going to be good. We'll go into a store or two there and see what we find. So we're in Idaho and Utah, and, and that's two states that 
definitely exert a lot of control over their alcohol distribution. I haven't heard great things about Utah in general, and our schedule has been a little messed up. So what we were able to do though, is schedule it to where we could go to the state liquor store here in Price, Utah, which is like the last liquor store as we're headed toward Colorado. So this is gonna be our final stop to see what we're finding here in Utah. This is a small-ish town. I think there is a college here, so it's not a super small town. Might get a little bit lucky, but I'm not sure how they handle their allocated stuff or things like that. So let's check out the Utah State Liquor Store. A few moments later. Oh man, in a lot of states we run into these what we just call convenience stores, right? And I don't mean they're attached to convenience store. We see those too, but like all they sell are just your basics. You know, your Jack Daniels, your Jim Beams. They might have a little small selection and that's been pretty much what we've seen in idaho and in utah they did have some utah stuff if i wasn't strapped for space probably would have picked those up it was a rough go it was a rough go bourbon hunting in idaho and utah I feel bad for y'all in those two states if you're looking for good whiskey not even allocated stuff right just like having a big selection so that there's something there to tempt us uh is even hard to come by here so we're on to colorado i'm gonna do a colorado hunt this afternoon and uh, we'll see what we find over there we are passing through colorado but i've got a pick at ben holidays in missouri in like two days so we're not going to have a ton of time to bourbon hunt all the way through colorado but i do have a little bit of extra time today to try to stop at a couple of places. So we're gonna stop at a couple of small town liquor stores, see what we come across. Not sure this is a true representation of what it's like to hunt in Colorado, but you know, we'll do the best we can. First, we are in Fruta, Colorado. I don't know how big Fruta is, but our first store is Jackalope Liquors. $45 for an Eagle Rare, Guadalupe. Excuse me. Go ahead. Another one liter of Buffalo Trace. Don't see those very often. It's a good bottle there. Barrel pick. Toasted. Denver, Colorado. Let's go with the high proof. How's it going? Good. You looking for something? I'm always looking for something, man. Always. I'm just. I'm. I have a YouTube channel where we just film bourbon hunts. So I'm just driving across the country, bourbon hunting. Any interesting bourbons in here? Any? Any? Yeah. This is where the good stuff, I haven't made, I was saving that to the last. That, that looks like where some of the good stuff's hiding. Back here, okay. Ooh, what you got on that Michter's Barrel Strength Rye up there, $149? I'll take that one for sure. Okay, let's just, let's set them here. I'm gonna get that for you. Royal Canadian. It's a nice looking bottle. More Redwood Empires. Cash Strength Lost Monarch. I need that, but I'm running out of room. Yeah, so this guy's out of Gardendale, Colorado. You like bourbon? All right. It's all right, not, not your thing. I understand. Anything made in Colorado that y'all have here that's really good? Yeah. Bourbon related? Bourbon from Colorado? The Old Elk is made in Colorado? Uh -huh. Would you get it down and let me look at it? All right, so Fort Collins, Colorado. Now with this one, am I limited to one bottle? I see you've got two more. I'll, at 149, I'll take all three of them. Okay, yeah, I have more. Let me ask him to get more for you. So well, you there's, there's two. Bottles? There's two right up there. Yeah, I think he have it in the box too. Oh, he has a whole box of them. A, do you want three bottles? If you've got six of them, I'll take six. Okay, okay, yeah. Now, is all your all your whiskey out here? So this is all of your, or is there anything you've got? You know. Mm -hmm. Do you want six bottles of them? How many of those do you have? I got a lot. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take six of those if you've got them. Okay. Anything else that's not out that you might have? No. Everything's just out? These are the 750 milliliter Buffalo Traces. Hello. All right, I think I'm gonna get this old elk instead of that Infinity Blend. So take that one and then I will take the rest of these. Are you talking about these? I haven't tried that. That's a Colorado whiskey as well, isn't it? 
Huh. Is that better than one of the ones I've got? Do you know? This one double gold. Uh, depends on customer. Yeah. All right, throw me one of these in there too. Throw me one of these in there too. That one thousand three hundred twenty-eight thirty-five. I got these. Not with Uh No, definitely not. Definitely not. Nine hundred ninety-nine dollars for a founder's collection up there. Ah, uh, we've been doing YouTube for about a year. A little over a year, year and a few months now. Appreciate it. All right, Jill. Um, they had one of my favorite rides on the whole planet for about MSRP ish. So I bought two cases. Oh my gosh. Are you crazy? Uh, where are we gonna put it? Um, I don't know. We have no room. Well, I've got another box of stuff inside too. Oh my gosh! So Thomas. we're it's not gonna go well. Um, quite the conundrum we've got. Like I don't know how to get the whiskey home. I knew this was gonna become, but we gotta get. We've got roof rails ordered for this thing, but they weren't here before we left for the trip, so we could put like storage on top for this. Um, this is gonna be fun. On the side for the ride. All right, I think I've got this figured out, but it, like I still got three more stops on this bourbon hunt here in Colorado. I'm gonna, we got to be super selective. But if they, and I'm leaving behind two cases of Michter's Barrel Strength Rye at $150 a bottle. Oh, they closed. Look, oh, oh, so nice, so nice. On to the next door. Michter's Barrel Strength Rye is probably my favorite, my second favorite. I really, the limited edition Jack Daniels 2020 probably tops it a little bit for me but they're really close and the fact that i just left a couple of cases at least he said he had i don't know how many say four or five six cases i don't know but the fact that i just left those behind makes me very sad i realistically six bottles probably a lifetime supply for me no more often than i go back to that bottle but i know a lot of folks back home are going to be upset that i didn't buy those and bring them home to them they'll probably end up with a couple few of the bottles that i did buy but just I'm out of room. Jill told me, she said, go back and buy them all. If it's your favorite, go back, get all of them. But I got nowhere to put them. So we're going to continue this bourbon hunt here in Colorado. Um, I am now at Center Town Liquors here. Uh, same town. What town are we in? Um, I don't even say, I'm, I'm, I'm just so discombobulated at this point. I don't even know what town I'm in. So I really need to not buy anything. Just so you know, I need like, I hope they don't tempt me with something. Hey, how's it going? Oh, not bad. I honestly, I've got a YouTube channel where we just have been driving cross country doing bourbon hunting videos. So we've just been looking for bourbon. We st I, and I, I'm being hyper selective because I'm completely out of space. I've bought like 50 bottles since we left the house, and I've got five people in the car, so they're getting a little frustrated with me. Uh, well, we're headed we're headed east, so we've got a we've got Colorado. I'm hoping to hit Kansas, and then we're going to be in Missouri, and then it's just yeah, yeah, a marathon yeah, yeah. home. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, from? Alabama. Oh, okay. All right. So, how does, yeah. how does bourbon work here in Colorado? What do you mean? I mean, do, do y'all get a lot of allocated stuff? Do people I'm, mostly just I'm drink a, in bottom shelf? I'm a very small store. Yeah. So, um, my allocation goes, so, you know, I'll, my whole top shelf there, I probably have in, I just bought this store two years ago. So, okay. the entire top shelf I yeah. brought in just for. You know, a lot of Colorado, all my Colorado stuff goes really well. I have a new one coming in. I wish it was here. It's, uh, it, I can't wait for it. It's a uh, Molly Brown Spirits. Okay. Haven't that seen that one. It's a spiced bourbon. Interesting. And it was, I don't drink bourbon. It was phenomenal. You like that one, huh? It was just, What kind of spice? Like, what does it taste um, like? Well, again, I don't drink bourbon, so I really yeah. can't. But it, it's a Colorado bourbon. But okay. look for that one because it was just. Molly Brown like, Spice Bourbon. We were, there was a whole bunch of us here. We all, too, everyone was like, I had to get several. I mean, and I have, I'm a small store. I don't get several cases. Yeah. And, and uh, but Molly Brown's from Colorado, okay. northern Colorado. And uh, just for local, you know, awesome. kind of We were looking for local stuff. Most yeah. of the stuff you got, I just bought. Yeah, you probably yeah. just got, exactly, because everyone carries those. Did you get anything from Marble? Did not, okay, no. Okay, so I'm out, but look for that one, Marble, Colorado. Okay. I'm going to need you to help me tote this out of here. You're <laughs> uh, I had it for a minute. I had, I had it for a minute. All right, let's go check out this Fruit of Mart, then we'll get on then on the road. Next stop, Fruit of Liquor Mart, which we heard was a bit of a museum, but let's go check it out. Hey, how's it going? Oh, not too bad. I 
came from a different liquor store. We were a lot bigger, so we were able to keep it rare and Taylor and Weller. Is the bigger there. store here in town? It's a great town. Okay. I think it's going to be the same thing out of and wise for that store. Yeah. It's tough. That's, that's, you know, it's that way a lot of places. I know. I hear, and I hear even closer back east, it's even tougher, which blows my mind, you know, but. It's, I mean, we've, I think we're on state, we're getting pretty close to 20 states we've bourbon hunted in, and it's pretty much the same everywhere. Like, it's, there are stores that have some allocation, but even then, they're usually either marking it way up, so it never sells, or they just have a huge volume, so they get a little stuff, but. Even they complain about it. We literally have a waiting list for Eagle Rare. You watch my, my channel? I've seen a few of your TikToks. See? She's seen a few of the TikToks. I'm famous. Oh, yeah. What's it, the channel? What's the YouTube channel? Bruzel, B-R-E-W-Z-L-E. Canadian four grain. Branch and barrel. No seen. See, this is where I want to buy stuff because I got a lot of labels I've never seen before. $25 Buffalo Trace. Wheel horse. Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. There's boulder down there. Single malt. World Whiskey Society got crazy with the bottle. That's nuts. So did you say you saw any UFO? No. Have you ever seen the Starlink satellites? Yes. I saw them the other night. And I was like, uh, I was, I'd never seen them before. I didn't know what they were, you know, and I'm like, what the hell is that? <laughs> See, it was a UFO until you identified it, yeah. right? I appreciate it. Y'all take it easy. Yeah, you take care, man. Thanks for coming in. Yeah, absolutely. Let's head on to the next door over in, I think the next town's like Rifle, Colorado or something like that. Let's head over there. Oh, Lord, we're over budget. I mean, you find one of your favorite bottles, like one of my top two favorite ryes I've ever had. You got to go hard. Like, I, that's a lifetime supply, no faster than we go through bottles at this point. So I just had to. But I don't know if we're going to have a sponsor on this video. Uh, we've been having some sponsors, which has helped us do this road trip of bourbon hunting videos. But do me a favor, hit the like button, watch this sucker all the way to the end. Um, you know, maybe maybe I won't feel so bad about blowing the budget um, pretty, pretty hard there. But... We are now in Rifle, Colorado, I believe, and we are at Choice Liquors. And Choice Liquors believes that booze is cheaper than therapy. It's a true statement, but it's probably not better for you. Let's check out Choice. Special case over here. That seems like a mess out there, doesn't it? I wasn't even sure I could get in here. I know, right? Yeah. Kind of crazy. So what's the deal with the case? I see no prior. Do y'all do like a raffle? Y'all hold these or? No, you can buy whatever you want out of them. Okay. They're just over $100 except for the Buffalo Trace. How much are you asking for this Master's Keep Voyage right here? Spell it to me. Uh, Master's, Wild Turkey Master's Keep Voyage, V-O-Y-A-G-E. $325. That's probably, that's, that's gonna be a bit more than I wanna pay for that one. What are you getting on a Blanton's? Just curious, not that I. There's a Blanton's in there, yes. One little Blanton's hanging out in the back. Just having a good time by himself. Tax and all, 83.25. 83.25 for Blanton's, that's not bad. I mean, what's it, $70 MSRP, something like that? So we got a Remus store pick here, 113.2 proof. MGP, I bet it's good. My wife's gonna kill me though with the space. Hmm. Heaven Hill Bottle and Bond hanging out there on the bottom. Peerless Rye on the bottom. It's been holidays. I need a soft red wheat, but that is not soft red wheat. What do y'all think? $89 for Blanton's. Should we? Should we? Should we? I don't know. If y'all were curious, um, about 10 bourbon hunting videos is how many I can get on one card before it runs out of space. So we are officially out of space. We had to swap to the phone here. Let's continue our search. Aged in 30 gallon cask, which is not for me. Lots of scotches here. What bottle are you looking for? Eagle Rare. Oh, yeah, yeah. I bought one and uh, we were, 
What was the town? Up the interstate there, it's like two towns up. They had a bunch of them. I mean, they've got a Blanton's there for 89 if you want it. I was debating whether I wanted it, but I'd rather you have it. <laughs> I think I've got a Blanton's and two or three different wellers. I, I just get them for the bottles. You can look yeah. nice in the case, you know. But the Eagle Rare I like to drink because it's pretty cheap and it's not a bad bourbon. Oh, no, it's not bad at all. I think I'm going to leave that Blanton's even though... We're on a little bourbon hunting road trip, so I'm out of the space. The was uh, 31.25. That's not bad. If it were, like, I need a 107. The Special Reserve, it's getting pretty easy to come by that. Well, I appreciate it, thank you. No problem, you have a wonderful day. Yes, ma'am. All right, so that concludes this bourbon hunting video. Little anticlimactic there at the end. It started with a bang. We are headed east after this because we have to be in Weston, Missouri, day after tomorrow for a barrel pick. And we're trying to get to all 50 states. After this road trip, we'll be in the 20s, um, probably 20, 21, something like that, depending on how many we get. So we're getting there. We've got a lot of work to do. Hopefully we can get all of them by the end of next year. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you wanna be a part of these barrel picks, you can support us on Patreon. We've even got a free patron tier. There's a chance if you're in that free tier, you might get access to one of the barrel picks if it doesn't get picked up by the patrons in the higher tier. So check that out. Link is always in the description. We'll catch up with y'all uh, in the next video.